Hey y'all, uh, today we're going to be doing some unrolling stuff, but before the video starts, I just wanted to let y'all know ahead of time. You can hear the audio good, but it does sound a little weird. I don't know what happened, uh, but just just listen to it, get through it, um, I'll get it fixed. I don't know what the deal is, but there's something happened to audio when I was doing the voiceover, so if y'all would just bear with me on that uh the next video i'll have it fixed <clears throat> but the only way i can save the actual audio of this video is just to post it like it is so um just keep that in mind if you're on the facebook side make sure you check out our youtube channel uh, it's bagwell farms youtube channel as well we post there more regularly than we do on facebook we only post on facebook maybe once a week so make sure you check out our youtube channel and if you're on youtube check out our facebook channel thanks for watching Today we're going to be unrolling hay. Um, this is something we normally don't do, but uh, before we get into that, and I'll go in further detail why we're doing it, uh, and all the details of what I think about unrolling hay and everything here in a minute, but first I want to touch on the last video. There was quite a bit of interest in that, um, and it kind of went the way I figured it would go as far as people listening but I could, can't believe exactly how much interest there was in it because I've made that same well that's the first one I've really had a that elaborate of a rant um, it was not meant to be an informative video it was more of me expressing my feelings on the situation we were in and how I was being forced to be quiet um, so what I want to talk about today is some of the things that uh, some people commented on I've seen pretty common um, and whatnot. Uh, first we'll address the uh, elephant in the room. Um, I know that my Canadian friends who watch and subscribe and I, I really appreciate all the ones who commented and said that they would not be unsubscribing but they didn't agree with me and explain their case. I really appreciate all y'all doing that. Y'all are not my enemy. <clears throat> Unfortunately, though, y'all are going to be the ones that has, if they fix it for the Americans, it is going to have some backlash on y'all. That is my point. Um, and by no means do I think that the Canadians are making a killing off of us. It is the packing houses, and I made that very clear, that are making the killing. Um, the Canadians are not going to be making that much money. The packing house, they deal with the same packing houses we deal with. They want the markets cheap. It's in their favor if it's cheap. They make more money that way. It is more profit margin for them to gain on. Um, but that being said, I don't think there's a Canadian farmer out there and y'all can let me know because if there is please watch write washington and tell them that you would love for it to go back the other way the way it used to be because i would love for it to go that way um but i don't think there's a canadian farmer out there that's a beef farmer that wants it to be changed back the way it was because they have definitely it's helped some I won't say that they're making a fortune, but it's definitely helped their market some because obviously there's more beef demand. Anytime there's more beef demand, the price goes up. Is it going to go up in a whole lot? Will it ever go up above the American market? No, I don't think it will because then it's not beneficial to the packers. Um, that's the whole point. They want to keep the market driven down. They have used the Canadian and the Mexican market and the other markets around the world as a leveraging tool to manipulate the American beef market so that way they can drive the prices down so that way they make more gains. When they go to the store and they sell the boxes of meat to the grocery stores, if they have a butcher or not, they are still getting what they did when the prices were high. If they have come down a little, it's not much because the, the prices in the store do not reflect what the market's done. I was just in there the other day and I'm telling you right now, there is very little difference between now and when we were actually doing good. Um, and 
that's just the reality of it. Uh, and the packing houses were not alone in this. I also didn't go in detail about that. The feedlots at the time were very interested in allowing more beef into the U.S. because it was in their benefit. The more cattle they feed, the more money they make. They're in the feed business. That's the reality. And at the time, they were saying that they didn't have the large quantities of cattle that they'd had in the past, and they were going broke because they didn't have the cattle amounts that they needed. And they were in favor of doing all this because it allowed more beef into the U.S., so that way they have more animals to feed. So they're not innocent bystanders here. Um, they were also part of the problem in the beginning, but in reality, the ones who's actually the issue here is the packing houses. The U.S. government allowed these packing companies, the smaller ones, to be bought up by the bigger ones, and they had to pass it through Congress. <clears throat> it went through there, and they voted on it to allow this to happen, and they are the reason why we are down to so few packing companies and they are so large now. They have a monopoly over it. And as long as this goes on, you're not going to see any difference. They're controlling the markets. Eventually, like a lot of y'all said, we are going to end up like the dairy or like chicken and pork. We will have growers and it'll be somebody like JCB, Tyson's, uh, Cargill, like that, that we will work for, and they'll go out, and somehow or another, they'll have us as growers like they do chickens and pork. Um, we haven't gotten to that yet. There's still a lot in their way to get to that point, but that's their ultimate goal. That's what they really want. The U.S. government wants our ag for our cattle and stuff, just like the European's market system is. That is their end goal. That's what they want. Um, and we do not want that is a disaster <clears throat> but that's what the issues are with this whole deal i mean there, there's so much that goes into it and you can argue with the other countries they were if they were making have made any real big gains or not you'd have to go back and look at what their beef prices were exactly i know they went up um, since all this has taken place. So they have benefited some, but it's it's the same way wherever you go. If you're a farmer, you're not making no killing. There's no such thing. So I will, I will definitely give the Canadians that. Um, and that is universal wherever you go. I don't care where you're at. We are always the ones that gets crapped on and taken advantage of. Um, and... I feel like there should be less government. I don't want government in my life. I don't want them involved in what I do. Um, and the way the system is set up, it's a racket. It's a racket for everybody but the farmer. How did that system get there? Our government. So there you go. Um, but for, for us here in the U.S., if we want any change, this is what's going to happen. Everybody's barking right now. Everybody's kind of ill. They're not getting what they want for their cattle. They're losing money or they're just barely getting by. And it's a struggle. Their wives are sitting at home. They're complaining. Where's the money at? Why haven't I got money to buy Christmas presents this year? We're, uh, we need this. We need that. We've got to have this to live. Why don't we have any money? And every farmer goes home. Or if you're a woman and you farm, you go home. And you grab at your husband when he gets home or whatever, however it works. If y'all work together, y'all both understand what's going on. But for those of us that are wise to stay at home or they work other jobs that's not ag-related, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about because you probably catch it every day wanting to know, why don't you have money? I need money. I need money. And you're sitting there scratching your head and you're getting pissed off and you're barking now because you're not making much money. This has been going on for years, ever since they passed this crap. And as far as I'm concerned, I've been saying this since I started this channel. I'm not going to stop saying it until something's done about it. The problem is there's too much meat on the U.S. market. I don't care if the dairy all folded. I don't care if there was a huge drought. It's not going to have the effect. 
that it's had since then to now. That's not the problem. The problem is, and it's always has been, and the reason why our market fell like it has is because of the Packers. The Packers are allowed to buy out all the small Packers and they have monopoly of the system, and now they're controlling it. <clears throat> and that's the that's exactly what's happened. They have control of our markets. There's nothing we can do about it. Uh, the U.S. government needs to probably do like they do, they have done in the past with large tech companies, as my dad was telling me. Um, they need to go in and bust up these large packers, divide them up, make them smaller, bring back a lot of multiple packers, give them competition, drive that system out, and then that would help us more than anything. Before, you would even, and it would help us more than anything, uh, it would greatly help us to limit the amount of beef that's coming in and put our labeling back on. I do believe that'll help. Everybody's going to tell you, I don't know if that labeling really matters. Believe me, when you get one of these suburban wives in there and they're looking and they see an American flag on a package and another flag on another package or writing that says that, if they actually, if it's actually where they can see it in bold print and not in some small fine print where they never take really the time to look, and our beef association actually marketed this like they did Angus, you would see a world of difference. It matters, believe me. They don't want you to think it matters. That's the issue. They don't want us to think any of this matters. And, you're, and that's another thing is, is everybody saying the Cattlemen's Association? The Cattlemen's Association isn't doing anything. All they got on their minds is water rights been that way for 40 years i heard my dad talk about it i don't know how many times and i don't care about water rights they haven't done a damn thing you know why they go after water rights my dad made this very clear to me because there's no big money opposition in water rights just wackos yup there you go that's why they go after water rights there's a lot of big money opposition in this other stuff. That's why they never touch it. They get paid off. That's why we have the mess we have now. The Beef Association and the board is the biggest joke that's ever been. And I don't know if a lot of people realize this. We should all know this. If you're a cattle person, everybody should know this. Every time you take an animal to the stockyard and sell it, I don't care which barn you go to in the U.S., you get charged. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. If you did not know that, every time you ca uh, sell a cow, you get money taken out of your check to go to the beef board. What do they do? Nothing! There you go. They do nothing except collect money from the other side and don't do a damn thing. There's your reality. It is the most useless thing that's ever been. And every time they have a vote to do anything about changing this, they hide it, they manipulate it, they cover it up, they make it to where it's darn near impossible for you to even cast your ballot. And by the time you get your ballot in, it's too late. If they actually wanted to hold an actual ballot on all this, as my dad says, he runs a stockyard, he ought to know, the best way to get this stuff to farmers to vote on is to have the state people that have to be at every sale bring ballots out to the sales and have a drop box. Pass them around, let them fill them out, stick them in the box. Make, believe me, the person who runs the barn who has to listen to the farmers gripe and complain every single week because their cattle's not bringing any money and they're wanting an explanation for it, will push this. They know this. They don't want it pushed. They don't want you informed. There's your reality. This is the problem that's wrong with this whole system. It's all screwed up. It's a giant racket. And the only way we're ever going to fix it is it's just like the government. We're going to have to stand up, make damn noise, and we're going to have to put some people in charge that ain't going to turn around and tr uh, on us and do the opposite. <clears throat> We've, it's, so, it's set up for us to fail. We have to work. When you go to your cattlemen associations, I want y'all to bring all this up. I want you to tell them, I want something done about my damn beef prices, and I want something done now. 
And you list all the things that I've named. And when they come back at you and they tell you, well, I went and talked to my politician and they said that the cattle or the beef board is representative of all the producers. No, they're not. That's their exact excuse every time. We need to get after these associations that represent us, like the Cattlemen's Association, and we need to make them do this and keep pushing on it. What they're going to do is like a, is they're going to throw us a bone. As soon as we get to pushing too hard, they'll throw us a bone. You'll see the market go up. And the ones that's going to throw us the bone is the packing companies. They have control over it. Now, all they got to do is drop the prices a little bit on the meat, and you'll see it fly off the shelves that much faster. And then it'll create a greater demand, and it'll bring the market up just a little. They don't want it to come up too much. They just a little. And when it comes up just a little, everybody's going to get quiet again. Yeah. Nobody's going to say anything. And then it's going to just go back, right back to what it was, and slowly but surely we're going to end up just like dairy. We have to get alive on these subjects. We have to pay attention. We have to listen to our news sources, which they're not, half of them is not worth the grain of salt. <laughs> half of them is not worth anything. But we have to keep digging. If you want to know what's wrong with the markets, go ask the man who's at the stockyard every week in detail what you can do to try to help the markets. What needs to be done? And then we have to let our voices be heard. And we can't stop when they throw us a bone. We have to keep pushing till we get something done. And in legislation and actually done. And then if anybody tries to touch that legislation, we have to throw a damn roll fit. Just like the Democrats do every time a little something goes on. There's minority groups all around this country who've had control over this entire country for forever. They get more done than anybody. All you got to do is cry. If you got a wife, send her up there. Believe me, they listen to women more than anybody. And if the Canadians want it changed back, please write the government. Y'all have more pull than we do here in the U.S. and we're our own citizens. Y'all have more pull with our government than their own citizens do. But I can tell you right now, they don't want to change back. Because it would hurt them. I know it would hurt them. Unless the market got so sky high that it just automatically pulled theirs up. Which at a certain point, it probably would benefit them. Uh, but then that comes back where the limitations are come in and only so much beef can come in. So that would hurt them as well so they they definitely do not want this change and that goes for any country out there they want it to stay like it is but they're not benefiting in large numbers because like i said these packing houses want the market to stay cheap because they get more gain i can go on and on about this there's so many details that goes into all this and so much crap that that every time you look at something new and you fold or uncover something else, you find a whole nother rat's nest. It's just like anything. If you've got so many people involved who are trying to take advantage of the money, there's large amounts of money involved here, and they dang sure ain't going to let it go to the